Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are playing Core Keeper today. It's been a little while since I had this one on the channel, but 1.0 is out and we're about to dive in. I'm going to record for about an hour tonight with this one. If you'd like to see me do a full playthrough of Core Keeper, then let me know down in the comments section. It's always great hearing from you guys and it really helps gauge the audience to hear from you directly. So I really appreciate it if you hit the like button too and share the video around with your friends, anybody you might think is interested in the game and wants to pick it up. I've also got the link to the Steam page down in the description too. But anyway, enough talking about that stuff. Let's get into it today. So we're gonna hit start. You can see I've got a couple of older worlds but we definitely want to start a new one i think for the 1.0 release we'll do world slot here ah the hard part what do we name it all right there we go how about the xeno dome and that will make a little bit more sense as we play of course if you're new to core keeper it's got some unique mechanics just in terms of the map alone the way the world generates but um oh heck there we go gravestone that's right that's right that will be a very catchy save icon. All right, standard mode. Let's just look through these. Creative, casual, standard. We'll stick with standard. Maybe if we do a full playthrough and get through it, it might be uh, interesting to see how the game is on hard. But we'll go ahead. There's the world seed if anybody's interested. Let's see his settings here. Biome chaos degree to which biomes can overlap appears within interesting or density normal probably want to adjust these I just kind of want to see what we've got, you know, again, maybe for future runs uh, Quantity and size of cavernous space Complexity of rivers. Oh, this is all new too. I don't remember this granularity of world generation available when I originally played Okay, occurrence of dimensions of pits Frequency of overhead openings that allow light in. All right, let's just go. Let's do this. Done. Oh, and we got to create a new character. Okay, okay. Standard character, hardcore, permanently lost. No, not yet. Not yet. Not quite ready for that. Okay, what's our body? Just two options. We'll go with that. Skin. Okay, we'll do kind of a middle of the road there. Hair. Interesting. Oh, Got a little punk look to it. Let's go. Um, Give me the brown. There we go. Nothing too crazy. Color of eyes. Blue, sure. Shirt, very important. Matches the hair. I like it. Uh, hold on. All right, that matches the hair. Pants. He's a little bit flamboyant with his pants. He likes a nice, bright green. He likes a nice, bright green pants. Who can blame him? Background. Oh, ooh. We're definitely the fighter. A uh, fighter with great self-defense and power to defend their allies. Melee skill, copper sword. Let me look at the rest of these, though. Chef? No. Some gardener? Interesting. Fisherman? Ranger? Ooh, maybe I want the ranger, actually. Now we'll go... Oh! A mage. Magic skill. Simple staff. Yes, yes. Actually, I was I was wrong. We're not a fighter. We're a warlock. <laughs> Wait, when did this enter the game? Adept warlock who conjures dark minions to besiege and bewilder foes. A nomad. Oh. Oh, so you can just spec into it as you go. Interesting. All right, the game's got some depth for sure. Um, let's do mage. I love mages. I've always loved to be, wanted to be a mage. Of course, I need my name here. Come on. And boom, there we go. Straight, simple. That's my name, Ryan. Let's go. Nice to meet you. All right, and do we just appear? Oh, we got a little intro here. In a place far away from anywhere else. Hold space to skip. We'll let this play out. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Oh God, it's a giant eyeball. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise a hand towards it. Oh, why would you do that? Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. Oh no. Huh. And we arrive in our world at the core. Let's go. 
And now we arrive at the core. <laughs> oh, something's happening. This is us. We have arrived. Take a look around, buddy. Yep, that's the last haircut you'll ever get. Nice. All right. We are in the game. I just want to see controls real quick. Uh, gameplay controls. There it is. What do we got here? Do we have a zoom? I like to be able to zoom. I want to see the details. Uh, there's a lot of... Actually, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. All right. Well, no camera zoom, just on the map and stuff. But speaking of that, let's pull it up. Yep. So there we are right at the center. The core is here. It's a big, big world, though. We have just begun. Let's see. All right. So what do I got here in my inventory? Simple staff, some food rations. Let's pop those back towards the end of the line. You get bumped up to number one. Uh, can't make any torches yet. Let's go ahead I think if we empty hand this, that yeah, might be a little better. I want to see this in action, though. Oh, nice. I love the light up feature, too. All right. So, can we make torches now? Yes. Give me torches all day. Give me, give me a full, like, just all the torches. There we go. Good. Now, okay, good. Shift, right click, place this torch. We got some mush. Give me some delicious mush. So these little shrines here, we open them up as we defeat bosses, is my recollection. Been a little while since I played Core, Keep Core Keeper, but I was, kind I was just biding my time, waiting for this big new update. And I'm glad it's here. All right, looking good. And let's progress. We got something sparkly over here. Just trying to get as much wood as possible. Okay, now we're probably going to want to slap down like a basic workbench. Let's grab a pickaxe. I'm going to put my pickaxe in six. I'll take a shovel. We'll put that in three. Okay. I think we're good. What is it? That's the food rations. Let's save our rations and we'll put that in the bar. Okay, so I'm just going to slap this down here for a second. Let's look at this. What can we do? Um, how do I interact with it? I've already forgotten the basics. Do I hit E? There we go. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we want a little bit of armor, please. Let's go. All right. I still need some pants. Shouldn't be bad. We're just walking around pantless for a little while. All right. Pretty solid. Nothing much else there. Pop that on. We're good. Let's go exploring. Oh, and I'll take this back. We'll bring that with us. Okay, so we've got our wooden pickaxe. Not the best, but I think it should be able to handle a little bit of dirt. Oh, give me that torch back. There we go. That was a bad placement on that torch. Right there is better. So I think we're looking at a little bit of ore, I hope. It might also be like plants. I think plants sparkle too, but I could be wrong about that. This is definitely ore. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Explodey bits. Oh, I'm going to grab all the dirt. This will be helpful. Don't need it right up front, though. Let's put this down. Good, good. You know, I kind of want some more wood, too. Maybe we shouldn't abandon the wood so quickly. And it's not that it's rare. It's just early game like this. We're going to need it. So let me do a quick clear. It's not even really that much. It's good to open up the core a little bit because we will be coming back here. All right. Yeah, we need to start kind of keeping our eye open, maybe for a base location, something interesting. Let's go for this early, easy ore, ore right here. I like how his eyes glow in the dark. That's interesting. Makes me think he's got some sort of special power supernatural connection all right oh mining just went up nice okay let's keep that open we got a pet slot too i want to see is there like a character sheet or profile j huh. just trying some hotkeys it's funny i went through the settings looking for a zoom but i didn't look at anything else all i care about is getting getting a close look at this boy all right, can we break this? Ah, 
Strange blue gemstone emitting waves of energy. I've forgotten what these are for. I think they're like currency. Basic stuff. There we go. Drop this. Let's move. Let's just look for the easy, close stuff first. I think... Oh, oh, we got something interesting over here. All right, we've got a new destination. Let's go. Looks like it's got uh, ruined structures, possibly. A little bit of light helps. Mining just went up again. Okay, we got ore, we got stones. I'm going to come down and get these sparkly bits here. And then we'll break into this. Looks like it might be a little bit dangerous. I hope this mage is prepared, man. Let's go. I was just testing the plus and minus buttons. I'm still not giving up on the zoom yet, guys. Haven't given up. Oh, I'm loving it. There it is. Keep going. No, that's the wrong one. Go this way. I think we just break this stuff. I think it's just... Oh, oh! Hell yes, look at that. Now, this is locked, though. Can I, I can pick it up. All right, we'll keep that. We'll lug that sucker around. I love how much inventory space we have right off the bat. Um, oh, look at my pickaxe. All right, can, if we can get through here. Mining is damaged. Okay, okay. So, let's just real quick slap down a few torches. Okay, that's it for the torches. So, we need to put our little workbench down again. E to interact with it. Let's go. Um... Actually, real quick, before I use my wood, let's just get a little stack of torches for after we've finished our crafting adventure here. Okay, so we got a furnace. Need that. I need that. We've got six ore here. Let's place it and get it going. You are in the way here. Look at that. We got scrap parts from destroying that. I don't even know what those do, but I love them. All right, let's put that in there. E to interact, right? Or no. Wait, how does it work? Oh, I, maybe I wasn't close enough. There we go. Got to get right up in the business. Okay, so that's working. Nice. Oh, look at it go. Sparking away. Wooden spike trap. Don't need it. Don't want it. Don't care about it. Um, I think we're just needing the pants and then we'll wait till our copper is done. Oh, I also got to repair. There's a way to do that. Um, I, I thought there was. Let's just wait. There is a way. Let me figure it out. Okay, well, I can't figure it out. So I'm just going to grab another one for now. Not a big deal. Let's look at this. Okay, that's done. Maybe it was just a higher level workbench that needs it. So let's grab our copper boy. And we'll take this now. Once we have the copper too, we don't really need the old one. As far as I recall, there we go. Um, well, darn it. I'm still not seeing a repair here. No big deal. We do have a fishing rod. Now we can do some walls. Yeah, over here, if we just scroll, we can go back and forth. All right. Well, I'm noticing a couple things we definitely need to get more copper for. So, yeah, the small lantern seems cool. Oh, a belt pocket. Interesting. Takes copper for that. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Now we did get some stuff from. Oh, there's a pit right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's use some of our earth. We can fill that in and we can walk around. Look at that. Come over here. Boom. All right. So we can break these little pots. Oh, we just got some tin ore. We're already advancing. Progression already. This is like a gold mine. Okay. Yep, I like the torches, little auto torch action, just place them, even though I'm carrying dirt in my hand. Now, um, we can pick these up. Oh, look, I got myself an egg, hatchable feathered egg, no way. That's amazing. Maybe we shouldn't pick those up, actually, because it is... Oh, I, you know what, I made the wrong thing. I made a hoe and not a uh, wooden pickaxe, that's what I wanted. It's okay. We, we'll still use the hoe eventually. But yeah, I think I'll leave these crafting bitches down just because my inventory is getting pretty full. I did notice a bomb though. That's pretty good. Now, hold on once. Whoa! <laughs> I saw you there, bud. 
You came out of nowhere, didn't you? He's got a little stone cap on him. All right, what is this? A little mini boss here? Are you kidding? Oh, I just noticed my mana bar. Gotta wait for that to re replenish. And we can also sprint a little bit. Is that what it is? Is that what the orange bar is, maybe? Come on, buddy. I'm gonna snipe you. Uh, it's just one damage when he's in stone form. Are you kidding, bro? Got you. Got you. Come on. Toro. Oh, he knocked out part of the wall. I love it. Nice. Oh, just ate mush. Wait, that's my food bar. Yep, that's food. That's what that is. Okay, okay. Glad I realized that before we starved to death. Oh, there's his little brother. Sorry, buddy. I just murdered your cousin. All right, let's go for this stuff. Shouldn't be shooting my wand at it, though. All right. Oh, is that a chest? No, I thought it was a chest there. I don't think it is. No. Anyway, we're going to grab the mushrooms. I see another opening there. We've also got some wood. We're starting to see some different types of ground here, too. I think this back here might be the soil that we want to dig up for farming. What is that called? Oh, no, I think that's just dirt. It's just like water dirt or something. I'm not sure. Tilled. Let's see. Yeah. No. Wait. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Just one. There we go. Okay, so we're good. Just relearning, trying to identify these sprites and stuff. All right, let's do that. Good, 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 good. Okay, what's over here? Got to be careful turning these corners. Could get hit with a giant mushroom. Huh. So I've got a bunch of stuff now. I'm going to keep that in the hot bar. Actually, that should stay too. These need to be moved. Uh, don't need the basic workbench anymore. Let's just drop that off. Still, oh, yep, there we go. Still looking for a key. We'll get there. Oh, we got gold ore too. Wow. And these seeds. Kind of keep these around until we establish a place to live. Pet pellet. Oh, so once we hatch our egg, we can feed it. Okay, this is why it's good to keep a stack of ground on you. We can actually just go around here if we really want. Interesting. Okay, we got us some very easy copper. Oh, look at this. We're coming up to a, like a meadow biome. This might be where we set up our base right here not too far from the core there's already cattle in there i can see them uh you know what i'm realizing this little structure that i saw is just a breakable yep look at that we got something from it which dr vest what holy crap i am glad i went back and broke that box it just occurred to me because there's others in this room over here. I was like, okay, that's worth breaking then. Damn. Um, oh, and we also realized, too, if we go to the star, we can see the skills that are leveling up. So where's my magic that's cooking? There it is. We're at three. <laughs> I think we started at three. So let's come back to this first. Pop the copper. Oh, I only have five. That I had more than that, but that's okay. Still worth coming back because it's not super far. Now, I thought there was like a little sprint you could do or something. Maybe I need an item for that. Oh. That's what's great about games like this. They're very deep and complex. And even though I've played it in the past, I'm still kind of learning new, you know, relearning it essentially. Especially with 1.0. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of new content. Now, here's another little thing I'm going to do. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I really need to go get that uh, those workbenches. So, okay, here I got an idea. Let's let's put this wall pieces over here for now, because I need an extra spot in my inventory. Uh, how are we doing on food? Let's eat some mush. Delicious. Of course, we get our little regen buff. Yeah, food all has buffs and stuff. All right, let's go for this stuff. Let's grab these. You're coming to our new base area there, sir. So how many bars did we got? Six now. That's pretty good. 
I might grab something like the stone columns once we start to build, but okay. So let's set these down. I don't know how big this is, but it's big enough. Oh yeah, this is good. This is all now our base here. So let's put our stuff just right here. Okay, good, good, good. Now what I wanna do is actually block off this area. I don't want slimes coming in here. There we go. So just a couple of pieces, not a big deal. Let's see, where's, that's the blocks. Did I not pick it up because I'm full? Dirt won't work, that's part of the floor. Oh no, that did work. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's what I want. Yep, I was confused. All right, very good. So let's slap down our forge or furnace. Good. Now interact with it. Put that tin in there. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be helpful having that early. I don't know how much we get from one, but okay, look at this. So we're already getting wool from the animals. Okay, I just want to look around now. Let's make sure there's no ways for enemies to get in here. And it's looking secure. Let's take out this wall. Is that gold? What am I getting from this? Oh, no, it's just metal blocks. Gotcha. All right, we'll clear all this eventually. But again, just... Oh, no, I just laid a bomb. Oh, that was wasteful. Damn, I could have placed that a lot better, too. Uh, well, live and learn, live and learn. I was trying to place a, what's it called, torch, but we had none, so that was my bad. All right, there we go. Place a torch. Be careful, my little cattle. Occasionally, there are bombs that just randomly go off, so don't be alarmed. Now, this is it. This is our base. Things are working really good. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a chest. And there, I shouldn't have set this up this way, but you know what we can do? Let's knock these walls out real quick. Because if we connect our chest to the crafting tables, it will just automatically use, you know, materials from that chest when we want to craft. It's very helpful. Very cool little system this game has. Okay, look at that. Yeah, we need to empty out our inventory too, so we'll just slap that down. We'll fill it up with a bunch of stuff. Wood. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that. I think there might be NPCs we can sell to eventually, but now it's not that important. All right, put that away. That. That. The food and seeds we'll put in a separate chest. I do want the dirt blocks. Oh, I've got more copper ore. Scrap parts. Glow tulip is more of a food, yeah. Oh, I'm nervous. No, I'm not going to put the bombs in my inventory. We'll just save those for now. Okay, okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Hey, ranger tunic. What do you mean? Is that something I just learned how to make? Probably. All right, let's put that in there. We will put that away. All right. Looking good. Now, let's go ahead and knock out all these little breakables since we got some room mechanical parts ranger pants we just got oh no i just hit my little friend i'm so sorry he'll be okay well eventually we can get some feeding troughs for these guys start feeding them up we'll fence them in too we'll put them in a nice safe little area so eventually i can open this place up and we can just walk in and out freely. All right, let's check this. Good. That in there. Right, and again, just stacking it all. Oh, we got another egg. Uh, oh, look at this. I'm getting staffs like crazy. Wow. Okay. Huh. It's the same item, though, which is annoying. But these are more or less just for show, I think. I'm just going to get rid of them. All right, that we put away. I'll put that away. Ranger pants. All right, we're going to put those on. Okay. And let's grab another chest. Look at this. Armor, range attack speed. I almost feel like I should just hold off. I'll keep these. You know what? We'll make two. 
Two chests is better than one. One of them we'll just set up here for now. Kind of out of the way. And that'll just be for stuff kind of like this I want to keep maybe. Because that's a cool set. Maybe we can make... I don't know if there's mannequins in the game or not. But that'd be kind of fun. Alright, let's put that in there. Got more copper. I might be smart making like a second furnace. But let's just see. Oh, I definitely need this. Okay, crafting this is probably smart. How many bars we got left? Ah, uh, they're in the chest. Let's grab that. Okay, see how much... These are still working. Okay, so... Huh. What do we do with this? Oh, okay. Very nice. Gave us some extra slots. Um, You know what? We're going to set down these chests too. Even the locked one, just to get it out of my inventory... But yeah. All right. And this one will build a cooking pot next to that eventually. So for now, we'll put our food there. Okay. Seeds will go temporarily till we plant them. And let's see. Yeah, we'll put that away. I'm going to actually no. I'll keep the bread and we'll put the mushrooms in there. Pet pellets should just go in this one just for storage. Okay, good put that away we're good we're looking really slim now i like that all right one last bar oh and we can't do gold in this weak level of furnace <laughs> all right we'll put that away let's check our thing one more time here uh you know what no yes we want to place this down beautiful now it should use whatever's in the box but we're out so we can get a look at some of the armor we should be building towards basically okay we're set to go now wait a second i just want to check something oh there's still a box there so this costs eight four okay i just want to make sure it was connected properly because i saw four bars i wasn't sure so here's what we're gonna do i mean we can pretty much go in any direction we'll start finding ore but I'm going to seal it off for obvious reasons. Don't want my beloved little cattle to... F yeah, there we go. So that's nice and safe. And of course, it's very simple for us to get back. But here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a minor explosion compared to the one we saw in the last time. Whew, man, that was nuts. Okay, well, that just goes to show the downside of blocking yourself off. Uh, not that safe. Not that safe to do, is it? Because I really didn't make it out in time. Yeah, if that had been a bigger explosion, we'd be dead. Oh, look at this vein. Oh, holy crap. We're going right back in there and putting this in the furnace. I'm going to be very generous with my torches, guys. Just basically for your sake so you can actually see what's going on because i know youtube makes all videos darker you know so if it's dark for me it's probably like impossible for you guys to see but all right let's come back up honestly i probably don't need to block it until we get like into another biome but it's just easier if one of them like followed me in there that'd be kind of annoying all right, let's put that in there good yep that's working that's a lot that's a good amount. Um, should we just go over here? I think so. Oh, the pickaxe is almost gone. No. We'll, we'll hopefully we'll be upgrading to a copper one. Oh, did I just block myself in? <laughs> no, we can punch our way through it. Okay, let's see here. I wish there was a way to like automate and put the bars right into the chest. I don't, maybe there is now, but I'm not familiar with that if there is. All right, no, let's go to over here. Oh, I need wood. Wait, am I really out of wood? Wow. Oh, yeah, we are. We got two pieces. Damn. Um, that's not wood. Again, I'm pretty sure those trees are like the grass. They're just for show. I did see some wood. Where was it? I think it, this is it right here. So let's just backtrack while well, that's cooking up some stuff. All right, we'll backtrack. 
I know my pickaxe is broken. That will slow things down a little bit, but we're just waiting. All right, there we go. Safe. <laughs> All right. Where was it? It was blocked off. Yep, there we go. All right, so we do have some enemies here, but that's not the end of the world. With our mage skills, we should be good. Where's my gross bread? Okay. It does not look like very appetizing bread, does it? It's like a gray-bluish color. I thought that was a mushroom enemy. <laughs> nope, it was just a mushroom. All right, we're good. Um, let's break stuff. There we go. Just what we needed. A little bit of wood. Beat you up, buddy, with my bare hands. Wow, that is weak. Whew. Yeah, the magic is the way to go. All right, so that's a new... Yeah, we just got the heart berry. That's a new item. Food. Okay. Nice. Oh, still alive. All right. I'm just going to get this and run back home. Oh, wait. I just saw some ore. Well, I don't have a pickaxe, do I? Now, we're going to have to come back for the ore because we need to get home. Make that copper. A little bit more wood. Boom. All right. So, yeah, I'm going for the copper ore. I wonder what kind of minions we can get. It says plus one max minion count. It's almost like better for a warlock probably, but still pretty cool that we got that so early. Okay. Yeah, I don't know the rarity, but I feel like it was a good drop. All right, there's that. Block it off for safety. Yes, we made it back. Hello, cattle. And they do shed, even though I'm not feeding them. They'll still shed their little fibers and milk and stuff occasionally. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I'm just going to get rid of the sand. Don't need this anymore. I know there's a way to repair stuff. I actually kind of want to keep the tree. Yeah, we might want those for various decorative purposes. Alright, I got a bunch of stuff. So, let's start unloading. Boom. Let me grab all the bars. Nice. Okay, let's put away these seeds and crap I've got. Really filling up my inventory. Okay. What's this? Fungal soil. Oh, okay, that's just like ground cover. Get rid of that. All right, we're back over here now. Nope, not quite. There we go. Now let's hit the bench up. Yes, give me a copper pickaxe, boys. Maybe we can't repair the blue or so, or the blue, the wood, I mean, or something. Um. Oh, I bet you we repaired at the anvil. Okay, I could be wrong. Let's see. So, do we go sword, shield? Should I not even worry about that just yet? Hold on, I just noticed something. Got some gears. Put those away. All right, let's look at these. No, I'm not doing railway stuff. This could be interesting. Workbench. Oh, decorative furnishings. Looking more for the functional stuff. We haven't come across slime yet, have we? Workbench create electrical and logistical systems. Glass smelter. Hmm. There's the egg incubator. Glass pieces. Oh, okay. So we got to do the smelter before that maybe that's the minions i think it might be i'll tell you what then let's do a glass smelter and i know i just got rid of there we go i just got rid of some of the um sand i probably would have needed where did we get that from was that down here no i think it was back the way we were just coming from so let's backtrack because we know there's a nice little chunk of ore back here there we go Got 18 torches. Man, there are torches everywhere. <laughs> it's good. I like a lot of light here. Oops. Okay. A little bit of wood I missed. Grab that. Oh, there's a bunch of wood. Here we go. This is what we need. More of those crates. Those are dropping good stuff. I want more set pieces for my warlock gear. 
Let's knock this wood out. Good. All right. And here we go. We got some enemies. I'm not scared. Gotcha. Looks like we got another meadow up top. That's interesting. We should be able to lure those cattle. Why am I putting so many torches right there? Yeah, we should be able to lure those cattle super close or into our area. Okay, there's the sand block. Hey, look at this. We just found a cop or yeah, it's a copper node. That's helpful. We'll have to set up some drills on that though. Let me see here. So yeah, where's the sand at? Is this sand? It looks like dirt. I don't I just randomly get these little pieces of sand and I don't know where they're coming from. Okay, that's all dirt. Ooh, another heart berry. Oh look at that. There's like a little armory or something. Let's go over here real quick. We're just exploring now. Giving up on all meaningful base operations. My mining damage is too low. Oh, what? It's like a structure. It is. It's got like a little symbol on it or something. I don't know what to do. All right. So that's all destroyed. Now, and the object is indestructible. What it? Wait, what is this? Cave pouch, five inventory slots, two max health, two movement speed. Five inventory slots, five. Max. Oh, yeah, we kind of want that one, don't we? Boom. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize we got that. Okay, we're doing good. Let's move. So, yeah, let's look on the map. What is this structure? Can't really see it, but I see the greenness here, but there's something sparkling inside. I want it. Whatever it is, I must have it. Some sort of loot. We'll get to it eventually, I hope. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So let's move. Oh, I'm out of torches. Let's make a couple. There we go. Lighten up the night. Oh, a new talent for running. Wait, so how do we pick that? Points, here we go. We got two points to spend. Oh, look, we got one in mining. Uh, let's see what mining says. I think we have to put one there anyway. Yeah, same here. We got to open this first. So this is less food drain when running. So there is a run. I think it's just always on, I guess. Not sure, but anyway. We got a little bit of sparkly just over here to the left. Let's not take any of it for granted. This early, I need it. I need all of it, even if it's just copper. Lowly copper. Oh, I think we're in the sand here, boys. Yeah, oops. This stuff is going like butter. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I'm just getting all this. We're going to have a ton of glass. I'm going to make a glass house, people. <laughs> it's not smart. Don't do that in real life. Let's see. Oh, oh. There's the thing. Yep. Oh, the thing's like a little structure. It's not that big, is it? That actually kind of makes it more intriguing. Now I'm thinking there's just like some loot in there or something. I don't know. Maybe a portal to another world. Okay. I'm just going for sand, apparently, and not even doing the ores anymore. But that's okay. Found another copper node. Mining's, um, yes, put that in. So what does this do? Oh, it's just mining damage. Yeah, I should be keeping up with these as we go. Just putting those points in them, at least until we get like other choices and stuff. All right, looking good. A little bit of copper. Let's go up. See, it's good to do this kind of exploring a little bit away from the base. Otherwise, it'd be making Swiss cheese of the area there. But eventually, we will kind of want to explore and open up, I think. 
Our little base. Yeah, the world here in Core Keeper is very unique. It spawns in a big, like, circles. Think circles. The biomes, the farther out you go, the more difficult it is from the core, obviously. Or maybe that's not obvious, but it is the truth. Okay. Oh, out of torches again. Back up. I need to just... I'm just going to use a whole stack. There we go. We got 93 torches. <gasps> New talent crafting available. Okay, I'll do that. Wait, what is it? Oh, 6% chance to gain an extra item. Love it. Ooh, I'm bad at aiming. Okay. All right, not bad. Let's see here. All the wood. See, like I said, it's not super rare. It's just sometimes you need it and it's annoying to have to go run and look for it. Uh-oh, we got ourselves another friend. Well, buddy, this is all my loot, so don't even think about breaking any of my boxes here. Going the wrong way. Hey, we just got the witch's hat. Oh, I can't put it on just yet. Hold on. We want that. We want that. I'm, I need to make this incubator so we can start hatching eggs. Okay, yeah. Let's 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 backtrack real quick and just get the glass going. Nice. We just leveled up mining. Okay. My pickaxe is pretty low again. Give me that. Um. Is this yeah. This is our biome right here. I really want to use my pickaxe, but... Oh, is this... Wait, this isn't us. Whoa! How dare you, sir. Oh, we just got vitality. Um, no, this is me. Okay, we're down to the right. Gotcha. Just got a little confused in the world of Core Keeper. It happens. It happens. Okay. And we're back home. Welcome. Hello, my little cattle. Hello. They're still here. One of them is. Where's the other one? There he is. He's hiding in the darkness. Ah, I see you. All right. So what are we doing here? Um, first of all, let's throw the copper in there. Get that working. Get it sweating away. Beautiful. Okay. Now we want all the sand. Yes. Perfect. It's going to be a huge help. I really want to get this food, the cooking pot built, because that'll give us much, very nice buffs and stuff. Put these all away. We'll get to gardening too at some point. All right, let's see. Anything else? I think that's it. Um, all right, again, I'll. Oops, damn it. Need to keep my hands empty when I'm walking around. Oh, look at our little guy's hat now. He looks like a true Halloween guy. He's on a mission for candy. All right, so let's... Why do I get so many wands? Don't even think I want to keep these. Oh, it does have durability on it, though. I'm just noticing. Wow. Well, I guess it's good we're getting replacements. Just a little bit too many. All right, so what else? I'm going to keep that. And that's it. Let's put everything else down here. Boy, I'm going to have so many pets. It's going to be great. Pet pellet. Food we keep. Wood goes in there. Spare parts. That. I'm also... I think I'll make a chest for, like, building pieces, floor and wall stuff. It's good to keep that for variety's sake. We might need it to at some point. Who knows? Maybe it's, like, part of a crafting recipe like the, uh, like the sand is. So, we still haven't got a key for that one, which sucks. But once we do, we'll unlock it, take the goodies out of it, and then we can use it for a chest. Alright, where? Um, I think it's actually... Where's the chest? Oh, look! There's Cooking Pot. Oh, that's right. Definitely scroll through and see what you can make. Oh, hell yes. Oh, there's the repair station. Yeah, we need, we need, I need these copper bars in there right away. Stat. All right, that's good. And 
There it is, salvage and repair, just what we were looking for earlier. So those can kind of be set, I guess, maybe off by themselves. I gotta get rid of these trees right now. Put them right there, oops. And yeah, let's knock down these trees. Okay, that's cool. Let's go to this. And I forgot how it works. Oh, we need scrap parts. Oh, 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 oh. So how the hell do I make the chest again? With wood, got you. So let's pick up just like a half a stack. Not even that much. There we go, that's good. So much to do. All right, I want two chests. Beautiful, how's our food? It's getting pretty low. Let's have a little blue bread snack here, delicious. All right, I'm gonna slap this guy down on that side. This is really cool too, the cooking in this game. You gotta experiment with it, but I'll probably need to do that actually manually first. But anyway, let's do this. Okay, so for here, wait, how many chests did I build? Why do I have that many? <laughs> um, yeah, I built way too many there. Let's put that one down. I think. No, that's not going to be super helpful. But um, tell you what, I'll just slap these down right here for now. Get them out of my inventory. It's never too bad. You know, it's never a bad thing to have extra storage. I'll say that. So we want to take the scrap out of here. And I think if I just put it in this chest, will that work? Oh, that's the wrong thing. We want to repair it. Yes. Nice. Now, reinforce tools, weapons, equipment. Improve the stats and item by a small amount. Actually, I think we should do that to these. Oh, no. Missing fiber. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, that's good. We're still relearning stuff here. I love the extra inventory space. Now, like I said, one of these chests will just put yeah decorative stuff blocks in it all right ooh, got some more big root bombs haha <laughs> all right how we doing down here you're set the glass is okay we're on a roll let's put all this away you sir should receive that tin all right now what are we doing here okay Livestock workbench, create helpful tools, furniture for keeping animals happy. We'll be, get to that. I don't want to start spending copper just yet. Watering can, again, we'll probably need that shortly, but not just yet. Damn, we still haven't found slimes. Oh, there it is. Egg incubator, baby. Um, We'll hold off on this. Although, if we get some, like a drill going, because we found two copper nodes already. Oh. A bed. Yep, now that we've got ourselves. This workbench makes it possible to form glass and more advanced objects for your base. We'll grab that. And, damn, that's a lot of copper. All right, let's just place what we've got for right now. So we're doing good. So, if I wanted to put the glass thing somewhere, I might put it over here. And then we can just fit glass into this actually you know what i'm thinking too maybe we'll move this glass furnace over there let's grab this okay and then if i put him well first of all let's lay this egg incubator i think it might need power so it, it, yeah it needs electricity so we're not quite ready for the egg yet but there it is we're getting there so now if i put this guy here Actually, I don't think that makes a difference with the smelters. Now that I do that, yeah, that doesn't make a bit of difference. In fact, let's move these kind of off by themselves here. At least it's super easy and convenient to just move stuff. Like, there's no... You don't have to, like, rebuild it and waste resources to move things around. I like that. And these guys, can, speaking of moving, we need to f get a fence going and move them around. But for now, they're fine. All right, they just like to see all the new stuff we're making, right? Let's get that going. So we got the bed. I'll just slap this down in the corner over here. And what do we save? Oh, that's healing me. Didn't it say something about a spawn point too? I guess we could read it. Uh, all right. Mm. 
10 workbench. That's what we need next for sure. We've got four 10 bars. So yeah, we need to be on the search for 10. That's going to be pretty huge. Let's put that away. All right. Now what about some food? Give me some mushrooms and some of the heart here. Slap that in together. Boom. And it's working. It'll just keep crafting until it runs out of the least thing. But once we, yeah, start discovering recipes, they'll be kept for us. And I can just click on it literally after that. I don't have to like mix and match the, it'll just load it up from the chest that's nearby. But there we go. We got extra movement speed, health recovery, and a food saturation bonus. All right. Let us get back out there and start exploring been carrying those rations around for a while but now the the base is looking better isn't it <laughs> it's not perfect but all right let's see it might be good just to branch out to the right should i try and lure back those other two animals yeah let's do that actually so what i need for that is a heart berry let's take a heart berry with us i think we can lure animals with those this might be a little tricky, but we're going to try it. Of course, I want to block. Let's eat our meal, too. Okay. All right, where were they? Legitimately don't remember now. Just up ahead, okay. Yeah, it's really not that far, which is good. Okay, here we go. Okay, just taking out the riffraff here. We don't want our beloved pets, soon-to-be pets, suffering any attacks. Okay, hello. Any friends here? Hey there, kiddo. So yeah, it's like Minecraft style. They'll come right at you when you got food in your hand, but don't let them get too close because they will eat the food right out of your hand. And we only brought the one heart berry. All right, but it's a slow little process, but it will be worth it. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. I believe there's other kinds of cattle too, but starting but they're in like different biomes or whatever. Damn, we got a mushroom boy over here by us. Oh, I just ate it. Oh, I right clicked and ate the damn heartberry. No, we can't let that stand. Cause the I don't think they'll Oh, I just shot him. I don't think they'll do the mushrooms. Let's just try it. Maybe they'll do my little burrito thing that I made. Oh yeah, he's all over the mushrooms. Oh yeah, come on guys. That's cool. I was all panicky, but mushrooms are working. Alright, so let's get back. It's going to be a little narrow in places, but you boys can fit. Just down. No, 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 purple guy. Come here. Sorry, that's my fault. Getting a little over anxious. Now we go down through here. We're almost there. We've almost done it. Yeah, a little extra work in the beginning makes a big difference because these boys can get killed. And I don't know if they respawn or not. I know that in the old days when I played, they didn't. But I'm not sure if that was just a mechanic they hadn't implemented yet or if it's like intent. Oh, look, he just ate. Well, yeah, I hope you're still hungry. Yeah, maybe they intended, you know, for them to be limited to kind of create a sense of rarity and urgency. But that's just how we're going to treat them, you know. All right, so I'm going to have to put away the food for a second. We're almost home, boys. This is it. Home sweet home. Little goat. Look, you've got friends. They're waiting. That's right. Come on in. Look, they're coming together. Yes, kiss each other. Come here. Okay. Nope. Come on in. Haha. -ha, I ate it. So we'll slap down a little bit of wall. And we've just trapped them forever. They are imprisoned. Look, the little goat's trying to get out now. He's like, wait, what did I just get myself into? Ha ha ha. We have done it. All right, we've captured two more. Um, not super worried about down here, but let's just keep digging. Actually, I will block it off. Like I said, it's annoying to try and have to lure him out of there. All right, here we go. It can be done, though. We've seen it. We now know how to bring animals into the home. Okay, really hoping to find some tin. Honestly, it's impossible to tell till you get right up to it. 
I mean, maybe down the road they're like, I don't know, sensors or something. Not sure, but... I know we can certainly find tin nodes like the big ones. Okay, this is easy walk. Oh, oh. Did I see some? Alright, bud. You... Public enemy number one right there. So we do have some easy to see copper. Oh yeah. Hold on, let's check our skills real quick. Okay, no points there. There. One point. No, we've already spent that. Damn, magic. It's hard to level up my magic. I should probably just be taking advantage of every little stupid mushroom I see. <laughs> just kill them all. Ooh. Yeah, that's like proper stone there. Uh-uh. It's not even worth it for copper. <gasps> Look at this! Oh! We just found ourselves a little bonus chest. I'll take it. A new... I'll take the smelter. It's good to have extras. What is this, though? I don't recognize that one. Oh, that's the railway forge. Well, that makes sense, considering we got railway here. I never dabbled too much with the railway stuff, but honestly, I can see how it would be cool... Yeah, especially building, like, for real bridges like this. Oh, this is neat. I like the way that looks. All right, good, good, good. Still don't see any tin. At least not easy to spot stuff. Maybe over here, actually. I think I might have caught sight of some. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Oop, we're in the sand. That's good news. Okay, that's copper. I think... This right here is tin, though. No, damn. It's copper. Well, we're only about four or five bars short of that tin that we needed, so it's worth just digging around, persevering, picking up the sand, too. Eventually, we can make, like, cool sand walk... Or, not sand. Um, glass walkways. Hey! And they can be put over, like, water and stuff. So it's cool. It looks like you're walking over the water. So that's another locked chest, unfortunately. But we'll take it with us. I don't remember how we get keys exactly. If we craft them or if they drop. Maybe from bosses? Can't remember. Literally completely slipped my mind at this point. <laughs> All right. Let's keep moving. Let's make a little, we're doing like little worm tunnels here. No rhyme or reason. We're just heading for the goods. Heading for that sweet, sweet ore. Uh, what is this? Better be the last piece. Better be some lead. Damn it. It's copper. Okay, hold on. Hey, one more point. Still can't go any farther down below. So I think we need to fill that out with five. I'm not sure. Let's go around though. Yeah, it's funny to see a warlock with a, with a pickaxe, isn't it? You don't belong in that role. All right, what's this? Copper. Tin's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Not gonna lie. I thought we'd find some in our little excursion this time around, but I think we're good to head back. Let's just see where... We've got the mini-map, but... It's actually not super helpful to me. So this is us right here, this biome. I think we can actually mark stuff on the map too. Oh, here's an enemy. Oh my god, he actually hit me. Gotta be careful. Running. We've learned running. Alright, yeah, this is us. So just for maximum security, I'm gonna double block these areas. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, so if we right-click... Oh, no, we need to place it here. We'll just do the little flag. Um, oh, it's the middle. Middle? What is it? I'm not sure now. It used to be the middle mouse button. Huh. Okay. That's weird. Let me figure it out. Oh, my God, I figured it out. It was the simplest mistake I was making. So it is the middle mouse button. I was just trying to place it directly on my little character button or 
circle and it wouldn't let me do that so we can clear these here and we'll just place one <laughs> there we go so that's our home now so simple so simple easy fix there but i think we're gonna that's gonna do it guys we have reached one hour on our little playthrough made a little bit of progress for sure but you can see we've just scratched the surface core keepers got a lot to it no doubt about it once again if you'd like to see a full let's play series let me know in the comments of course hitting that like button sharing it around certainly helps absolutely and i appreciate you guys very very much and I, of course i will see you all on the next one thank you for watching the video everybody i just want to take a moment to recognize my patreons as you can see i put their names in gold because they are in fact more precious than that shiny metal now i'd like to take a moment to invite you to also support the channel for as little as two five or ten dollars you gain access to all my content early and ad free over on patreon as well as a private discord server with me and my other patreons where we do some giveaways and have great conversations but once again thank you everybody and I'll see you on the next one.